What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Diz SMP, aka the Prince of Neptune, King Yanis, aka. Uh, it's, it's, even though this is late, you know, this is Dragon Ball Z Super Episode 80 review. Uh, let's get into it. First off, it wasn't that much happening until towards the end. My boy Gohan, you know, I liked the episode, it was decent, but my boy Gohan. Was fighting some nigga named Lavender. He was Lavender sent and shit. He was fighting a nigga named Lavender. And um Gohan was blocking his shots. I said shots like he shoot. He blocking his punches. He grabbed his arm like he was finna go for an arm bar. And that nigga threw poison in his face. On some Chijeri WWE type shit. Poison Miss Japanese wrestling the mover type shit. So you know that happened. And you know, Gohan. For the whole battle. And I know everybody like to shit on my boy. But he the best character and the strongest character in the, the show. Fuck y'all. But anyway. My boy, you know, had to use his hearing and his other five, four senses. I said five. Four senses. To actually see what was going on in the fight. In the match, I mean. And, you know. He did that. You know, he won. It was, it was hard. Because he hit that nigga with the. Rolling class, Pegasus, Saint Seiya, aka the Azuma drop that real Hayabusa be doing, and on uh, Ninja Gaiden. But before he did that, he charged up and went to Super Saiyan, cause you know he he would try to end the fight quickly, and he couldn't do it cause Lavender sent over there dodging his attack, doing like this, that, and the other. Um, they had a beam struggle, and he you know he lost the you know Gohan lost the beam struggle, but. The most important thing, even though this is going to be kind of a short review because nothing really happened. You know, Gohan, in my mind, in my mind, in my canon, my head canon, he won. But, because he stood back up and fell again. But, the um, Grand Priest um, and the little fucking Omi King were talking about, so it was a draw since he didn't, he couldn't stand back up. Which, you know, I, I, you know, you know I, I can understand that, but that nigga won in my mind. Fuck that. But, you know, they was fighting, and, you know, it was a close match. I'm not going to sit there and say Lavender Sink got his ass beat. Lavender Sink held a decent challenge. At one point, it's the Supreme Kai. Well, I think his name Kabito, son. I think his name Kabito, man. I keep pronouncing the nigga name wrong. I think it's Kabito, the little nigga with the little Zamatsu-like hair. But anyway, he was for the good Gohan Sensu Bean. He was like, nah, nigga. I'm good. I'm a real ass nigga. I'm strong. You know, I can do this by myself. You know, without the sense of being. Goku gave him the sense of being after the match, though. But that's basically everything that really happened for this episode. It wasn't that much. It was just a fight with Gohan and Lavender. And what really got me was after the fight, when they had like three to four minutes left. This is what I'm going to talk about for probably two, three minutes. I don't know. It just depends if I can get, if I can think of anything else. All right, so the Grand Priest, after Gohan and them had a draw, said the tournament, we don't know when it's going to start, but it said the tournament of power, which we all knew already because it's the spoilers, or if you didn't know the spoilers, I'm glad you didn't look at the spoilers until now. You know, shout out to y'all if y'all didn't, but he was going to destroy all the universes. When I think about all the universes, I'm thinking the 1 through 12 universes that Akira Toriyama was you know, saying originally back in Battle of the Gods, but no, that's not the case, ladies and gentlemen. This man said on the power level scale, which makes me wonder how strong the other universes, the other four universes are finna say, but on the power level scale, Team Dragon Ball Z, Team Goku, Gohan, they 3.8. Team, which is three. I thought it was funny when I saw that. I was like, man, three one eight. I'm like, oh no, nah, man. They power level the state of Louisiana, but no, nah, all seriousness though, they power level was three point eighteen. And I know this is why everybody was probably gonna make some. Oh, go hunt week, cause the the the, the place he man, fuck that. He haven't fallen in years, so he already had a a crutch. Minus rate on uh, lavender, who will know lavender fight or fall or not. But anyway, and the, the in my opinion, that poison took over the nigga body in a good amount of rate, you know. So I wouldn't say he's a jobber, but he's a rookie. He's not a jobber though; he a rookie. But 
the the the, the universe that they was fighting, they power level was what the fuck universe are they anyway? I don't remember what universe they was, but anyway, their universe was one point eighty three. And I'm like, who the fuck is who's 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 measuring this shit? Cause that's the case. Goku, Boo, and Gohan. Even though they they all gonna win their matches, like come on, I don't know about Goku. I ain't, I ain't gonna be honest. I kind of don't know after seeing the preview of the next episode, cause the the new dude, his name Bingamio or Bing Bingano, Beginning, yo, what the fuck? But anyway, that nigga he turn he could transform to like Lord Slug, you know, height and shit and fight. So I don't know, but he said, you know, those the two weakest universes. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no fucking way. That's a mini rant. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Team Dragon Ball Z, team, you know, the people we root for is weaker than Chompa's universe, universe six. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way other than hit everybody on their fucking job in the first arc that was actually of a points of super. They fucking jobbed. All of them. Frost. You know, the cabbage nigga, they all job. So there's no fucking way. Either the grand piece doing it by how much destruction it is or some shit. There's no fucking way, in my opinion. There's no way that they the second to the last week's universe. Unless Chopper got fighters that he don't know of because that nigga lazy as fuck. I don't see it, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't see how that's the weakest, second weakest universe. Especially Chopper. Chopper's weak universe is second. Then maybe Goku and them. Maybe. Because I don't know the other universes. But there's no fucking way. That was bullshit when I heard that. But Grand P said. Omen King said. Universe 1 and 12. And. 5 and. Yeah 5 and 8. Which makes me curious on. How strong they are. And I pray to God. Kira told me on the people over there man. um, That's doing the. um Dragon Ball Z Super animation. Fucking TV Tokyo um, channel and shit. Please, y'all, make, I want to see what the other four planets are doing. Make an art when they fucking trying to be the warlords. Trying to go in other people's universes or some shit. Destroying them or some shit. Or fucking killing people and, you know, trespassing and shit. And killing people in, the, in other people's universes or something. Because I won't believe that shit. This episode was great. You know, it was decent. It was good. You know, but I wouldn't sit there and say these niggas strong because we don't fucking know yet. At least show us one of the villains or somebody that make me be like, oh shit, they strong as fuck. Oh no. But until then, I can't say nothing about that. And I mean, it was a cop out in my opinion near the end before the credits roll that the Kabito asked the um, Grand Priest, what about the angels and us? You know, the guys. They all getting wiped out of self fucking Weiss and Vardos if they lose. If we lose, you know what I'm saying? We, but if they lose, they ain't getting wiped out. The angels, they, they ain't fucking getting wiped out. That's a that's bullshit in my opinion. But anyway, trying to give y'all my opinion on this uh, episode. My bias opinion is a fucking 9.1 because my boy Gohan, so he get um, one point and the other one, one dot point is for the fact that now we have a scale of power from the 12 universes of how strong each fighter or each, not each fighter, but each you know, planet is. And I say planet, what the fuck? Each universe is to each other. 1, 12, 5, and 8 are the four strongest and they get to fucking survive. That's bullshit. But my um unbiased opinion, this is a, this is a solid 7 because... Other than the plot moving, which gives it, you know, a point from not being a six, in my opinion. The Gohan fight was great because I, you know, I kind of was like, oh, shit. He doing the Saint Seiya. He doing the Rolling Pegasus Clash. And he doing the Azuma Drop. Other than that, I feel like Gohan should have whooped his ass real quick, fast, in a hurry. But I knew because he had poison. But at the same time, they had to make it. You know, stretch out for fucking 24 minutes, 23 minutes. So I'm not mad at that. But anyway, man, it's your boy Diz SMP, man. And hopefully the next episode will come out 
you know, on Saturday, on Sunday, but we I had some stuff to do that day, so I couldn't have to bring it out to y'all on Monday morning. But anyway, peace.